Another useful component of a pivot table is this section here called filters. In a similar way to column and rows, it allows you to categorize the information, but in a slightly different way. So for example, if I take the destination network, I click and I drag it into here. What you'll notice is it gives us a little sort of subheading. It says destination network all. If we click on it, you'll notice that we can now specify which one we want to see. So if I click MTN, I say OK. This report is now the MTN report. It shows all the MTN data. What we can do as well, if we want to show more than one item, we click select multiple items, and maybe I want to show Vodacom and Cell C, the cell phone operators. And when I click OK, you'll see it tells you multiple items, and this is the result of those items there. I'm just going to go back to all. What's nice about this is you can put other items in the filter. So for example, let me take whether it's a weekday or weekend, and perhaps the day of the week. So what we've now got is a report, January, February, March, at the moment for everything. But then we can effectively drill down. So I can say, no, I'm only interested in MTN. Perhaps I'm only interested in the weekday numbers and what day of the week, maybe only a Monday. And these numbers now re will reflect whatever has been chosen here.